consider volunteering on Race Stick. Complete event details can be found at lincolnmarathon.org. People always ask, what are Jake and Sip like when they're off the air? Well, the answer probably won't surprise you. Hey, Jake, your Honda's looking a little dirty. Says the guy whose license plate is barely visible. I mean, do you even care about that thing anymore? It gets a little uncomfortable. Now, that's when I jump in. Hey, whoa, Mark, did you get a new car? Nope, just took my car down to Nebraska Auto Detail. Joe and the staff made the outside and the inside look amazing. Maybe you guys need to go. Okay, wise guy. Settle down, Jake. Book your appointment today at NebraskaAutoDetail.com. This is Monster Jam. Witness big air, two-wheel skills, backflips, and all-out racing. It's the only place to see the world's best drivers tear up the dirt in your favorite Monster Jam trucks like Grave Digger, El Toro Loco, Megalodon, and more. It's big-time fun for the whole family. Monster Jam, as big as it gets. This Friday and Saturday at Pinnacle Bank Arena. Brought to you by Big 80 Tires, Great Clips, and the original Super Glue. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox, KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Your Lincoln forecast for today, a chance of rain expected throughout the day. See falling temperatures with a high around 52. Tonight, a chance of wintry mix and blowing snow possible. We'll see a low around 23. And tomorrow, a slight chance of snow in the morning. Otherwise, mainly sunny and windy. High around 36. I'm meteorologist Kyle Clutch for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Have you been accused of a crime? Is your freedom at stake? At Liberty Law Group, we are committed to the defense of liberty for those accused. Facing criminal charges is stressful, overwhelming, and full of uncertainty. At Liberty Law Group, we believe in treating every person with respect, compassion, and understanding. When legal troubles are keeping you up at night, trust Liberty Law Group to fight your battles. To learn more, call 877-42-LIBERTY. That's 877-42-LIBERTY. The Mill Coffee and Tea, formerly with only four Lincoln locations. Guess what? What? There's five Lincoln locations now. Oh my gosh. That's 25% more Lincoln locations than there used to be. Can you even imagine a world where there's only four Lincoln Mill locations? Feels like ages ago. We were all so young then. <sighs> the Mill on 11th, located right alongside 93.7 The Ticket Studios, 1040 O Street. Wall-to-wall wine and spirits is now open in Lincoln. Shop our expansive collection of wine, beer, spirits, and cigars at 5040 North 27th Street. From top shelf liquor to crowd favorite beer, Wall to Wall Wine and Spirits has a beverage for every taste and every budget. Plus, join our loyalty program to earn rewards and save on future purchases. Shop Wall to Wall Wine and Spirits at 5040 North 27th Street in Lincoln. That's 5040 North 27th Street. Are you working in or looking to get into the Electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Action Plumbing, Heating, Air, and Electric brings exciting career opportunities for you or someone you know. They are now hiring plumbers, electricians, and HVAC techs and installers to continually build their professional team. They offer competitive pay, and full benefits packages that include health, dental, vision, PTO, and 401k options. Action has created a positive team environment for over 50 years. Apply online at actionlincoln.com. My dream was to work in commercial banking, but it required a college degree and I didn't have one. I found out that Doan had classes for adult learners on the Lincoln campus and online. So I earned my bachelor's degree and five months later, I land my dream job. I decided to continue my education and now I'm working on my MBA at Doan. For me, the Doan experience has been life-changing. Houses? They're expensive. And once you buy one, you're kind of stuck with it for a while. You need to make sure you get your best house for the best price. You need Ben Bleicher and his team of pros at Professional Realty Group. They'll take the time to figure out what's important for you in your dream home, and they have the expertise to find the hidden issues that could surprise you after the sale. That's professional knowledge, proactive service. We call that potential. Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Service Ambassador. Find more online at prg-ne.com. Hi everyone, Kendall Warnock, A1 Automotive in downtown Lincoln. The last few years have been wild, but we've been here for you through all the ups and downs and we'll be here for you when you need us the most. 
for all your travels and for your day-to-day driving. With winter conditions causing problems all over town, the last thing anyone needs this year is constant car troubles. Let us help you drive in peace and make sure you drive to work and to winter destinations safe. A1 Automotive, Levitt and L Street downtown, always honest answers. Welcome to The Drive with A.D. Raff and Amon Gray. Former Husker football national champion, speaker, and author, Aaron Davis. Nebraska will win the national championship. The Cornhuskers beat Miami. It is history, 13-0, and bring that trophy back to Lincoln. Former Arena Football League quarterback, former head coach of the Capital City Crush, and guru of Husker football history, Chris Raff. 25 straight wins for the Cornhuskers. One of the most dominating stretches in college football history. We may have seen one of the best teams in the history of college football tonight. 12-year NFL veteran. He's got some speed to go with strength. Huskers and Green Bay Packers Hall of Famer. Shovel pass to Green into Vikings territory. Bodily brought down. And University of Nebraska eSports coach Amon Green. Look at Green all by himself. 20, 10, touchdown. Brought to you by Sand Hills Global on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, welcome into The Drive. I'm your host, Amon Green, along with my man, Nick, and we got his AD. We, we do have Raph. Raph AD, is on. AD is not on yet, but Raph is uh, joining us. Uh, Raph, are you, still in, are you still in Austin? No, I have made the trek to the great um, southeast. Um, there you I am go. in Huntsville, Alabama. Alabama. Perfect. Roll Tide. There it is. is. Everybody down there say Roll Tide, right? Yep, roll tide. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, it's just that that was an ESPN commercial a few years ago when they started to go on their little run of national titles there. I yeah. like that. I love that commercial. Just simple, you know, simple commercials like that make things fun about being a, a sports fan. Well, so. now we now we do have AD. AD joins us go. from perhaps the the happiest basketball place on earth. And that is Lexington, <laughs> Kentucky, yeah. where uh, the Kentucky Wildcats want their coach gone and they are no longer playing in the tournament. Yeah, they got booted out with last Friday or last week. Uh, yeah, first round. First they, round they, they were they, Oakland. They were the team that, that fell on the Jack Golke sword. Yeah, so. they uh, they broke the bracket. Let's yeah. just say that. They were the first team of many teams to break everyone's bracket from week one, round one. There yeah. we go. You know, good morning to you, fellas. Good morning. Uh, Hope you guys are all doing well. I can't stay with you long. I uh, got to head downstairs. But I, I tell you what, man, I keep checking Twitter to see the Calipari, what the status is. Mm-hmm. And, um, bro, because the word down here, I mean, they want him gone. Wow. They want him gone. Now, check this out, y'all. $33 million buyout. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. $33 million buyout. And then mm-hmm. think about this, you guys. If they're going to go after another coach, Obviously, it's going to be a coach that's that's up there, the top echelon of coaches. So that coach is going to have a buyout, yeah, you know, right. most likely. And then you look at I, – it's just – I never thought that I would see the day and age we're in. You know, you go back to Jimbo Fisher, you know, them dropping him, you know, yeah, six Texas, five, eight, you, know, you know, you look at um, this situation now and other situations. But mm-hmm. I, I'm going to pose this for later on. And I'll, I'm not even going to tell you what it is, right? But it's a question I ask later on. But just the demise of and just the uh, the craziness of the one and done mentality now. Yeah. You know, and the sustainability of it in college basketball. Well, I, I think I think mm. also part of it w- with Calipari th- that 33 million dollar price tag. I mean, guys, you, you just mentioned Jimbo Fisher. That, that's that's football money. I, yeah. I don't. I don't care if you're if you're a college yeah. if you're a basketball school like Kentucky is. Right. That that's football money. We're talking about revenue here, right? And, and revenue pays for buyouts. Right. I, I mean, you look at uh, Nebraska's new athletic director Troy Dannon, twelve point two million dollar buyout. So we're talking about a third of what Calipari's is. We oh. we we just you know we just realized or saw that Nebraska fires Scott Frost, and what was that? Fifteen million. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. half, less than half of 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 Calipari's buyout. I mean, we we are talking about a lot of money that 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 Kentucky as a program would have to shovel out mm-hmm. just to try and 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 get somebody new in. And and to your point, AD, you're absolutely right. They'd have they'd probably want to have a sitting head coach 
And and now also on the coaching on the on the college basketball coaching carousel, guys, it's kind of bleak right now, right? Michigan makes their hire in Dusty May. It feels like Lamont Paris at South Carolina wants to stay put at mm-hmm. South Carolina, and and he turned down a couple of jobs. Other than that, there's not a lot of excitement around, right? There's no yeah. and and forget about the legal issues for a moment. There's no Chris Beard going from from Texas Tech to Texas, right? And and there's no. Jay Wright retiring. There's not a North Carolina job that's open with Roy Williams retiring. Same with Coach K at Duke. You have you knew kind of Dusty May was going to move on, and he did to Michigan. Other than that, if you could, if you asked all of us, you know, hey, what are a couple of of hot coaching carousel names out there? You couldn't really say a whole lot that would really move the needle for I think for a place like Kentucky. Yeah, I think Kentucky's got to maybe take a step back and take a couple of deep breaths because when you, when you lose Calipari, I understand that you're losing your one and dones and you want more structure in your program, but you're also taking away all the five-star athletes that he recruits and brings in. So I mm-hmm. think if I'm Kentucky, I'm, I'm, I'm awfully careful in what I, the way I handle Calipari. Now the, the only way that Kentucky can get out of this guys is if Calipari leaves for another job. The, the buyout is significantly less if Calipari leaves for another job on his own. And the one job that, that is open that he may go, you know what, I, maybe it is okay to take a peek at, would be Louisville in the ACC. Um, oh, Louisville. <laughs> Louisville, Louisville here, here's the deal. Louisville is a basketball school. He's hated now. Watch out. <laughs> national, na- yeah, 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 yeah. National prominence under Rick Patino, And obviously there was some – you know, off floor stuff going on with, with Rick Patino at Louisville that now he's on, on the road to St. John's, but Kenny Payne, who is a Louisville alum just got done with one of the worst tenures as a head coach in Louisville basketball history. Um, and, and so if, if John Calipari ends up leaving Kentucky for Louisville, who still is looking for a head coach and got turned down by dusty may who went to Michigan, then we're talking about some other options for, for Kentucky, in in the in the basketball market, yeah. With thirty three with thirty three million dollar on the line, if I'm him, I'll sit out of here. Give me that money. Yeah. Hey, hey, Kentucky fans can hate me all they want. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> definitely. I mean, that's the that's the best option because then he has time to kind of settle himself coming out of this uh, drama filled right year, the way mm-hmm. it ended and everything. I'm for them getting kicked out of the first round, so that. If it does come, I think that's the best. I've seen other coaches do it, mm-hmm. you know, from basketball, NBA, uh, football, NFL, stuff like that, where they actually take a year off, go be a consultant, you know, yeah. on somebody's staff where they don't have to be there every day. They could just, yeah. you know, watch film and say, hey, you know, put your player here in this position because he has that talent to do that. So I, um, I say that'll be the best, you know, from rolling from there. Yeah. Um, gentlemen, we, I mean, we have a lot to get into. I know AD has to, has to leave in a little bit, but uh, there's a lot to get into, right? With just NCAA tournament as a whole. Um, I, I read that this is the first time since 2019 where all four number one seeds made the sweet 16. It, it just kind of feels like a, a real chalky sweet 16, if you will. It, it's not that surprising on some of the schools, right? Oakland's run's done. Canyon's run is done. The, some of the Sweet 16 games weren't very good, right? James Madison got the doors oh, blown off by Duke. It was it was just kind of a disappointing uh, round of 32, I think. Oh, um, now, there were a couple good ones, right? You had a nice nightcap with uh, – or one of the nightcaps with Texas A&M in Houston. But, like, Yale was a blowout. You, you had – it was – it was I don't know. Maybe I'm off on that, but I felt no, like it was a little right. bit of a- – just a chalky and disappointing round of 32 over the weekend. I mean, I see it a little different. I see it where the teams that should have won got woken up in the first round, right? They saw mm-hmm. the they saw the upsets. And this is college basketball because you, it's all mental right now. It's uh, either teams have momentum or don't have momentum. And in college, it's a bigger thing than it is in the NFL or NBA. And so seeing the upsets will definitely spark. They're like, hey, man, I don't want to be that squad. Yeah. You know, seeing Kentucky get booted out and you're somebody um, like, for example, Illinois, right? It's like or Iowa State, yeah. too, is like, wait a minute. OK, let me let's uh, let's get our coach did say we got, you know, every team's going to play like this is their last game. So let's go. And so that first round is a, I is a is basically you're getting woken up. So then 
the second round, you better be on par and uh, on all aspects. You won if you won your conference. If not, you came in second. You were runner up. You should be where you should be. So right now, the teams are are I think they're wide awake now going into the six, Sweet Sixteen. You know, there was a um, there was there were some games that that you looked at for like the first you know for the first half. But even like that Yale game, I mean, that game was well decided. It was kind of like, yeah, I'm going to see what else is on. You know, yeah, I'm going to see what else is on. Yeah. And I think those teams that, you know, those those top, you know, those top tier teams, um, I think them seeing Yale knock out Auburn, uh, Oakland knock out uh, Kentucky, and the other, you know, the few the other upsets, they're like, look, if we, if we don't come in dialed in right away, you keep putting these teams on life support, we're going to be in some trouble. Let's yeah. go out here and, as you mentioned, Nick, blow the doors off these dudes and get them sending home. And that's what they did, man. That's what a lot of those games were last night, I, with the exception I, of the Houston uh, A&M game. Yeah, I mean, you look – so you look at the, the teams that made the Sweet 16. All number one seeds made it. All number two seeds made it. Um, you had – let's see, where, where are they at? Where it would be – you had two, three seeds make it. You had – I mean, so there's – there's, I mean, that's right there – Four, eight, that's 10 of your 16 seeds are our top three seats. Yeah, four uh, number twos as well. Yeah, that, so that's that's kind of what I'm getting at. I mean, so you you look ahead, right? And, and now the Sweet 16 matchups are going to be interesting because it'll have the the Illinois-Iowa States, right? The, the North Carolina-Auburns, the Arizona-Clemsons. Not to say that there's not surprises. That's not what I'm getting at. What, I guess my point is like, Northwestern didn't show up against UConn and you know um, Michigan State North Carolina was a good game but Grand Canyon struggled against Bama and you had Arizona who beat Dayton and it, it just feels really chalky where once again for the first time since 2019 that stat doesn't lie for the first time since 2019 all one seeds have made it to the sweet 16 that that's I mean you're talking about major upsets happening the last five years in the first weekend that mm -hmm. that's the type of stuff that keeps people engaged. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. and that creates really, really exciting stories for just the casual basketball fan. Yeah. If you don't know sports, then you'd be like, Oh, sweet. You know, this yeah. So -so -so team from I love chair. I love somewhere. chair for, for UMBC. I love chair for <laughs> Stetson. Or I like, like that's, that's the point. Yeah. If, the so. under, if there's an underdog, yeah, we all like them. But right now the number one said, you know what? Um, we showing up. We're going to play ball. I did have Purdue getting upset uh -huh. because, you know, they were kind of up and down during the big, in the big 10 you know, we had our big win against them. So I was like, you know what, if, if, if it's a team that's the number one seed was going to lose out or get upset, I was just thinking maybe Purdue. And right now they, they're proving me wrong for that, mm -hmm. uh, for that team and for that coaching staff. So Purdue, they, Purdue is playing some, um, they're playing, they're playing with a chip on their shoulder. Cause you look at the yeah. past few years, Purdue has been uh, nipped out early. In fact, actually I, I had them also, uh, to, uh, to depart early in the tournament because history, that's what they've done in the past. Mm -hmm. But you can tell Edie supporting. You were worried about Edie showing up. You know he was going to put in work. It's a supporting cast around him that I've been impressed with uh, the way they played thus far. Man, they, they look like a yeah. different Purdue team. Because I mean, I was, when I watched them last night a little bit before they ended up beating the brakes off them, I'm like, how in the heck do we even beat these dudes? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fletcher Lawyer and, and Shane Gillis and, and Braden Smith, uh, along with Zach Eady, are, are oh, having man. themselves some really, really uh, successful tournaments. All right, guys. Rap so, Nick, 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 can I ask you, um, did you retire your Longwood bedazzled shirt then, or do you, well, well, do you still wear it? I was wondering about that when I was in it's Boston. Still, I still have it. I still, still got, got it. Yeah, okay. I'm still going to wear it. I was wearing I'm still that. I was like, is Nick rocking oh, the yeah. Longwood? I, I wore it on Friday nights. I still wore it on Friday night. It didn't, it didn't last very long. The dream <laughs> died pretty quickly with the Longwood Lancers, but oh, it man. is what it is. So, All right, Rappy, uh, go ahead and send us to break, my man. All right, we'll throw it a break. This is the drive, 93.7, the ticket. Rosie Sports Bar and Grill. Open for lunch and dinner at 1501 Center Park Road. Action Plumbing, Heating, Air, and Electric brings exciting career opportunities for you or someone you know. They are now hiring plumbers, electricians, and HVAC techs and installers to continually build their professional team. They offer competitive pay and full benefits packages that include health, dental, vision, PTO, and 401k options. Action has created a positive team environment for over 50 years. 
apply online at actionlincoln.com. <gasps> the Mill Coffee and Tea, formerly with only four Lincoln locations. Guess what? What? There's five Lincoln locations now. Oh my gosh. That's 25% more Lincoln locations than there used to be. Can you even imagine a world where there's only four Lincoln Mill locations? Feels like ages ago. We were all so young then. <sighs> the Mill on 11th, located right alongside 93.7 The Ticket Studios, 1040 O Street. Houses? They're expensive. And once you buy one, you're kind of stuck with it for a while. You need to make sure you get your best house for the best price. You need Ben Bleicher and his team of pros at Professional Realty Group. They'll take the time to figure out what's important for you in your dream home, and they have the expertise to find the hidden issues that could surprise you after the sale. That's professional knowledge, proactive service. We call that potential. Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Service Ambassador. Find more online at prg-ne.com. Are you working in or looking to get into the electrical construction industry? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Your business runs like a well-oiled machine. It's important that your actual machines do too. Stern is here to make sure you don't have to worry about that. They provide solutions for heavy equipment and automotive fuels, lubricants, and equipment guard options. And with Stern's commitment to customer service for the past 40 years, you know you have a partner to help support your operations for years to come. Contact Roger at Stern Company by calling 1-800-477-2744 or visit them online at stern.co. Stern Company, where problems meet solvers. Bagels and Joe is the perfect place for breakfast or lunch in March. Try their pesto cream cheese on any breakfast sandwich. For lunch, try the same in panini with provolone, sesame oil, and tomatoes on a ciabatta roll with bagel chips. Perfect for Lent. Four locations in Lincoln and one in Seward, Bagels and Joe. Hi everyone, Kendall Warnock, A1 Automotive in downtown Lincoln. The last few years have been wild, but we've been here for you through all the ups and downs, and we'll be here for you when you need us the most. For all your travels and for your day-to-day -day driving. With winter conditions causing problems all over town, the last thing anyone needs this year is constant car troubles. Let us help you drive in peace and make sure you drive to work and to winter destinations safe. A1 Automotive, Levitt and L Street downtown, always honest answers. Are you tired of living in pain? It's time to take control. At Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery, we're your one-stop shop for expert care in Lincoln. From broken bones to complex reconstruction, our skilled team will help you get back on track. Visit prairieortho.com today and discover why we're the trusted choice for thousands of patients. Don't let pain hold you back. Take the first step towards a better pain-free life with Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery where healing begins. Call 402-489-4700. If you're looking for a pre-owned tractor to upgrade your operation this year, you'll find a wide selection at your local Landmark Implement. We'll work with you to find the right equipment for your needs at a price that's right for you, all backed by Landmark's extensive parts and service network. During the month of March, choose from a six-month interest waiver or 4.5% fixed rate for up to 60 months on used 6M and R, 7R, 8R, or 9R tractors with approved credit. Visit LandmarkM.com to see our complete inventory or stop by your local Landmark location today and experience the Landmark difference. In every office, there's two types of people. There are those who bring in bagels and those who eat the bagels that someone else brought in. Everybody likes the first person. Be that first person. Weekday mornings at 730, you have a chance to win a business box of bagels from Bagels and Joe. All you have to do is shut up Siffle. Two questions for you, two for Siff. Win and the bagels are yours. Lose, well, you don't want to lose. You lost Monday, you lost Wednesday, you're a loser. Shut up Siffle. Weekday mornings at 730, brought to you by Bagels and Joe. If you're in Seward or Milford, listen up. Select Plumbing is now servicing your area with no trip charges from Lincoln. Select Plumbing works on a variety of issues for your home and business, including general plumbing, water heaters, faucet fixture repair, underground sewer and water repairs, backflow testing, and more. Keep your property free from leaks and other issues. Call today for a free estimate, 402-560-6197. It's not just Lincoln, Waverly, and the surrounding area anymore. It's also Seward and Milford with no trip charges. Contact Select Plumbing to inquire at 402 560-6197. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raf, and Amon Green on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com.
Welcome back. We're back at 93.7 to drive the ticket on the drive with myself, the Simon Green, AD, and Raph, and my man Nick on the ones and twos. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're being nice. We're going to say this at the end of the show. Um, all right. So, Rafi, what is what's what's the weather like down in, in Huntsville right now? No, oh, about right now, it's sunny, probably 60s, probably get up to about 70 today, probably. All right, so what's on the what's on the agenda today? Anything exciting? Um, agenda today? No, not much. Not yeah, much. Yeah, or anything. That, that, that answer was the dish. Uh, yeah, yeah, we know. Is the, maybe, I do, maybe I do a little bit of work. Maybe, yeah. maybe go for a walk. If so then, what to, happens when you're done with your ten minutes? Right. Um, take a nap. There when you go. I when I heard that, uh, that's uh, that gif of somebody just shooting darts at the Ooh, board. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I love you, Ralph. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah you know, you know. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, be, I'll find something to do. I'm sure. Exactly. All right, guys. So here, let's do this. Um, now that we've seen the first weekend of of the NCAA tournament, yeah. Yeah. national champion pick and why Ooh. does it does it readjust? Did you have you changed your national champion pick? And and let us know 402-464-5685. Let us know who your national title winner is. Gotcha. After the first weekend, we've seen a couple of the teams play. Yep. You know, because when you do your bracket, it's like, oh, I haven't seen UConn play, but they're the number one overall seed. So I'm going to put them as my national t- champion or Arizona. I know they have one player, Caleb Love, who transferred from North Carolina. Let's put him as our national championship. Right, so who is and why your national champion? Um, I'll start this off. I'm going to go UConn. I have them in one bracket. Yeah, my in my uh, and in another bracket had us. So you know, yeah, well, the gotta, other bracket is probably not going to happen. Then. Yeah, <laughs> but UConn because of of their coach, um, Hurley, Dan, a, Dan Hurley. I mean, he's yeah. a guy. I remember watching him when I was in high school when he was at Duke, and the way he played ball, he was obviously small point guard, tenacious, played hard for Duke, and was I knew why um, Coach K had him as a starter. So he is now doing the same thing as a coach where he has his team mm-hmm. fighting, they're gritty, they're physical, and there's a lot of, you really don't know their roster, right? Unless you really follow their squad, yeah. but there's no, like, people that jump off the table in terms of this person going to be a first-round pick, anything like that, which there will be. They'll have guys come off their bench that's going to go to the next level, but overall, that's the team that I don't want to be, I would not want to face because of the way they play ball, and you saw it this, um, this weekend. They play defense, they play offense, they make you earn the 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 points you know mm-hmm. especially if you come to the paint you got the big guy in the middle blocking shots several times in a row so they make it they they make you work for every little point you got and that's what being in the final four being in the national title is all about basically yeah Rafi no I'm going to burst some bubbles oh. a little bit here I'm sorry oh. but um it's all good so Danny Hurley is actually not the Duke point guard it's um it's Bobby Hurley Danny's his brother, but actually was brought up in the same basketball background and lineage and all that. So everything you described him as is totally correct. But right. actually, Danny is um, Bobby's brother. So. I didn't know he had a brother, to be honest. Yeah, Bobby. Uh, is Bobby still at Arizona State? Yeah, I believe Bobby's still at Arizona so, State. So Bobby, Bobby is at Arizona, is the head coach they at Arizona like State. They look like twins to me, they, they are. They, are. Yeah. I mean, they, they look like they okay. look they're, like they're okay. close to the same age. Yeah. Okay. So so Bobby is is at Arizona State. Dan is is obviously at UConn. At, at UConn. One 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 brother has a lot more success than the other one as a as a coach. I couldn't tell the uh, difference. I would have lost that bet. Raph, go ahead. Who's who's your national champion pick? I completely everything that everything that Amon said. I totally agree. Um, Connecticut. I think they they're the first team. I think since what it was Florida back in like oh six oh seven oh five oh six. I think. Yeah. I think they'll be the first team to go back to back since Florida back. They're, that was out of him, right? The head coach, yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. You're, yeah. yeah. So, there, um, go ahead. UConn's, yeah, UConn solid. I think, I think UConn gets it done. Um, I will say one thing though, boy, my bracket, what a disaster. Everybody's yeah. bracket is destroyed. I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna stay true to my to what I put on my bracket, and and, and it's gonna be Marquette. Um, really? for, for me, Marquette has, they, they have a, a couple of intriguing pieces and, and as somebody that watched both of their games through our, I should say watched Marquette throughout the season, but also both their games, they had a scare in the first half against Western Kentucky. 
Um, and, and, and they were able to come out of this in the second half, you know, basically firing on all cylinders and they ran away with it. Cam Jones is one of the better scorers in this tournament that's remaining. Cam Jones, he's no, he wears number one for, for Marquette. Tyler Kolek may be yeah. one of the best point guards in the entire country. Guys, yesterday against Colorado, 21 points, 11 assists, five rebounds. R Raph, we know this. He had 18 yeah. assists earlier in the season in a regular season game. This is a guy that averages over eight assists per game, Tyler Kolek. That's tough. That is hard to do in college basketball is, is average that many assists and be that, that much of a facilitator while also scoring the basketball. He's one of their leading scorers. He's second on the team in scoring Tyler Kolek. And he sat out the, the, the last couple of games of the regular season with an oblique injury. People made there, there were rumors out there that it was like grades academic wise. It was an oblique injury I mean, that, was a good, it was real. That, that Tyler Kole, Kolek sat out with. They also have a big guy in Oso Igadaro. <laughs> who is who can play really really well? Um, they also have David Joplin. So there, there's a lot of pieces with Marquette. They got past Colorado by four. They got past Western Kentucky a little more comfortably. Now I think and and frankly they have a favorable uh, Sweet 16 matchup. They play an 11 seed NC State. So I think I have a Marquette basketball shirt, Nick. Do you really? So yep. so anyway, <laughs> I, I have a couple as well. Marquette. Okay, I did all um, you wanted to borrow mine. No, no, no. Marquette, I, I have Marquette going pretty I far. Can I can bedazzle it for you. Uh -huh. I, and I, I have them I have them beating Iowa State in the national championship. However, Illinois looks good, guys. Yeah. I, I mean, Il, Il, Terrence Shannon Jr. might be the hottest player in college basketball right now. The, the guy has had just a, he's been on a tear the last couple of weeks. Mm -mm -mm. It, it, Illinois is scary. Illinois is really scary. If you're if you're Iowa State and TJ Otzelberger, the way you started against Washington State, Iowa State was down like seven or yeah, seven that, to seven to zero. You cannot do that against Illinois because Illinois will put up eighty on you in, in a blink of an eye and not even think twice about it. Yeah, they got the athletes for it. Tall, lanky, get the ball fast down the court. So can do that. I, I was stunned too by some of the teams like the teams that lost. Just how like horrible shooting like boo boo yesterday good lord that was that was not a shooting performance and it seemed like it was just either there was no like in between you know like we we're talking about earlier with the games that either they were really good uh down to the wire of the houston game or it was just a complete blowout like 31 29 it was it was wild like i said some teams are still getting woken up and it's like oh we gotta turn it on all gas. Uh, yeah, they woke All up gas, back, back home at their their campus this morning because, man, there was some there was some bad shooting going on. Should should we should we talk about Creighton now? Is that is this is should we should we should we talk to? about should we talk about the Blue Jays? We, I mean, oh, we we love we love Creighton. I wore my Creighton I mean, T-shirt today. Guys, <laughs> guys, Creighton they they look good, right? Yeah. And and they found a way. Um, not only against Akron, obviously, but but Oregon. That Oregon game was intense, right? Double yeah. overtime. Creighton wins. Um, you, you had, I mean, Baylor Shireman. His shot to send it into OT was was really something special. Then you had just that the, Stephen Ashworth, right? And, and this is where, I mean, if we want to bring it back to Nebraska, the importance of obtaining a quality point guard through the transfer portal. Correct. Steve Ashworth is a guy who was a three-year starter at Utah State. Utah, he then he, and had a had a pretty good career at Utah State. Leaves and finds a really good fit at Creighton. And man, if you are an opponent of of the Blue Jays, you hate a guy like Stephen Ashworth because he does so many things well. He 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 he's quick. He has bursts of energy. He can facilitate. And as we saw on what would that have been Friday night, right? Friday, mm -hmm. no, no, Saturday night. Saturday night, the dude can score and he can hit threes with the best of them. I think he attempted 15 three pointers on, on Saturday night. Yes, he did. So, so when you look at, at like Steven Ashworth, there are really, really talented point guards, true point guards that you can get out of the portal. And maybe Nebraska doesn't have the ability to 
to attract a guy like him. Mm. But when you talk about how much how much more benefit your team gets having a true point guard that that really knows how to play the position and yeah. run the offense, when you compare it to just kind of trying to throw something along against the wall, hoping it sticks. Yeah, man, it, the differences are glaring. It was night and day. Yeah, when you got a pure athlete and like you say, a pure point guard player that understands the role where you're not really adding much as a coach, where you just kind of point them in a direction, say, we just need you to do this, this, and this, yeah. and let them go. Um, and that's basically you're doing a simple, that makes the guy, coach's job very simple. Just say, I got an athlete here, know what to do. Just I just need you to do those two things. You you understand the rest. Mm -hmm. Go out there and be yourself, basically. Yeah. Who does who does Creighton play and where, where do they go to? Do you know that name? So, next yeah, so, yeah, they do. I, I do. They, they go to Detroit to face off against Dalton Connect and the Tennessee Volunteers. Yep, Tennessee. So, so Dalton, yeah, Dalton Connect, if you want to watch a future NBA guy too, that'll be the game to kind of watch. Um, Dalton Connect is, is probably going to be a, a top 15 pick in the NBA draft this upcoming uh, draft. Obviously, we, I mean, Nebraska fans know enough about Creighton to, to kind of know some of their, their, their shooters on their team with Trey Alexander and, and Baylor and Kalk Brenner and, and stuff like that. So yeah. um, that, that may be the game I'm most excited about. It's a two C Tennessee versus a three C Creighton. A lot Great of teams, matchup. a lot of teams have Creighton in their in their final four. A lot of people have Creighton in their final four. Um, Tennessee it, it has shown us right with a dominating win against St. Peter's. And then they were able to, they were able to comfortably beat Texas as well. That uh, Tennessee's, potentially a team that can knock the blue Jays off. So, um, yeah. all right, Rafi. Well, we got to get to history. Um, do we know is, is AD still with us? Is he, is he out of here? I'm thinking he might be out of here. I don't know. Okay. He never, Sounds he never good. came back unless he's taking that's, a long break or that's fine. On a suit or <laughs> yeah, true. Exactly. Getting all ready. right, Rafi, we'll send us to break. We got history coming up next. All right. We'll throw to break. This is the drive. 93.7. The ticket. You can get diesel anywhere. But what about Atomic Diesel? That comes from Stern. Atomic Diesel is your solution to all your cold weather problems. Prevent clogged fuel filters, increase your fuel economy, and save money with Atomic Diesel. Contact Roger at Stern today by calling 1-800-477-2744 to see how Atomic Diesel and the rest of their line of fuels and lubricants can keep your operation running at max capacity. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Hi everyone, Kendall Warnock, A1 Automotive in downtown Lincoln. The last few years have been wild, but we've been here for you through all the ups and downs and we'll be here for you when you need us the most. For all your travels and for your day-to-day -day driving. With winter conditions causing problems all over town, the last thing anyone needs this year is constant car troubles. Let us help you drive in peace and make sure you drive to work and to winter destinations safe. A1 Automotive, Levitt and L Street downtown, always honest answers. Bagels and Joe is the perfect place for breakfast or lunch in March. Try their pesto cream cheese on any breakfast sandwich. For lunch, try the same in panini with provolone, sesame oil, and tomatoes on a ciabatta roll with bagel chips. Perfect for Lent. Four locations in Lincoln and one in Seward, Bagels and Joe. Ooh, what a day. I could sure use an afternoon pick-me-up. Hold up. The new 93.7 The Ticket location has a milk coffee and tea inside? Oh, yeah. This is a game changer. Need an afternoon pick-me-up? How about a coffee or smoothie on your way to work? Stop by the Ticket Mill location on 1040 O Street to get your go-to drink or try out our new game day drinks exclusive to the Ticket Mill location. We know it'll make your day a mill yen times better. 93.7 The Ticket is proud to provide listeners with daily opportunities to win contests and prizes on our airwaves, and we'd like to take this opportunity to remind you of a couple rules. All participants must be 21 or older and must wait 30 days after winning a prize before participating in another contest. Once you win, you have 30 days to pick up your prize at the KTK Studios, 1040 O Street in Lincoln, or your prize will be forfeited. 
Thank you for participating in our contest, and thank you for listening to 93.7 The Ticket. Hi, folks. Sean Callahan here for Couple Chevrolet GMC, and the Chevrolet and GMC Truck Month is now underway. We've got huge savings in Louisville. Get 9000 off or 1.9% for 72 months on select models. Yes, you heard right. That's 9000 off or 1.9% for 72 months happening right now at Couple. So take that short money saving drive down 144th Street or check us out online at couplecars.com. You'll be glad you did. All deals with proof credit stock number G214773. 937 the ticket fox kfxl weather sponsored by john henry's plumbing heating and air conditioning your lincoln forecast for today a chance of rain expected throughout the day see falling temperatures with a high around 52 tonight a chance of wintry mix and blowing snow possible see a low around 23 and tomorrow a slight chance of snow in the morning otherwise mainly sunny and windy high around 36 the meteorologist kyle collector for 93.7 ticket and the ticket fm.com Are you working in or looking to get into the electrical construction industry? The Electrical Workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Houses? They're expensive. And once you buy one, you're kind of stuck with it for a while. You need to make sure you get your best house for the best price. You need Ben Bleicher and his team of pros at Professional Realty Group. They'll take the time to figure out what's important for you in your dream home, and they have the expertise to find the hidden issues that could surprise you after the sale. That's professional knowledge, proactive service. We call that potential. Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Service Ambassador. Find more online at prg-ne.com. Bagels and Joe is the perfect place for breakfast or lunch in March. Try their pesto cream cheese on any breakfast sandwich. For lunch, try the same in panini with provolone, sesame oil, and tomatoes on a ciabatta roll with bagel chips. Perfect for Lent. Four locations in Lincoln and one in Seward, Bagels and Joe. A lot of work goes into making Nebraska, Nebraska. Keeping it green. Helping it thrive. Making it fun. Everything that goes into caring for our outdoors, from waters to wildlife, plays a big role in making Nebraska home. Learn how we help conserve our state's natural resources at OutdoorNebraska.org. Paid for by Nebraska Game and Parks. Aired with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. Are you tired of living in pain? It's time to take control. At Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery, we're your one-stop shop for expert care in Lincoln. From broken bones to complex reconstruction, our skilled team will help you get back on track. Visit prairieortho.com today and discover why we're the trusted choice for thousands of patients. Don't let pain hold you back. Take the first step towards a better pain-free life with Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery where healing begins. Call 402-489-4700. In every office, there's two types of people. There are those who bring in bagels and those who eat the bagels that someone else brought in. Everybody likes the first person. Be that first person. Weekday mornings at 7.30, you have a chance to win a business box of bagels from Bagels and Joe. All you have to do is shut up Sipple. Two questions for you, two for Sip. Win and the bagels are yours. Lose, well, you don't want to lose. You lost Monday, you lost Wednesday, you're a loser. Shut up Sipple. Weekday mornings at 7.30, brought to you by Bagels and Joe. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Gray. On 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, right, we're back on 93.7 The Ticket. The Drive, myself, Amon Green, Nick. Eight. Oh, well, say I was 80 is say. out. 80 <laughs> is out. But my man Raf down in Bama, Roll Tide down there. Roll tide. We uh, <laughs> we got a phone call before we yes. go to okay. history. We got somebody on the line. We go to the Honda Lincoln Hotline, where Bob from Wyoming is on the line. Bob, what's on your mind today? Hey guys, you know if if it was bad, if it was football, and you guys are talking about uh, getting all these getting these portal uh, players out of the portal. Well, if it's football and you're building your staff with, with all portal, people around here would be upset. And what is the difference between 
getting people out of the portal for one or two years, if you're lucky, and or getting a high school player for one or two years. Why don't you start developing players, getting players out of high school, developing that's your core players, and then if you need a player to say uh, maybe a point guard because your um, your freshman or that is not quite ready yet, maybe get a point guard to bridge until you know, and that so that you're not getting these one, you're not you're not uh, changing over the whole. It seems like you're changing over the roster, you know, for um, every one or two years. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And yeah, yeah. because oh, yeah. <laughs> I think that's the only way you're going to really be consistently uh, to get be, uh, be in the NCAA tournament and to move in the NCAA tournament consistently. Thank, thanks, Bob. Appreciate the phone call as always. Uh, thoughts, yep. gentlemen? Um, I agree. I mean, that's something for my background. I'd rather develop than, I mean, Portal, I say in football, or it doesn't matter any college sport right now. Portal is, I think, more on the players. I mean, you only, I think as a coaching staff in college, you don't really have to go to that unless there's a need, like a need, need. Like you, you, you just decimate it at a certain position because of injuries or, or players transferring out, right? So for me, no, I'm just, I'm not even, that's not even my first option. My first option is what I recruited in state or the states nearby for uh, basketball or any, any mm-hmm. sport for that matter. That's what I would do. I'll lay it on me recruiting and my staff recruiting. I agree with Bob. High school kids first. And portal is just like my second or third option. If it's somewhere like, oh my God, now I don't, I, I'm down to one point guard now, and I got, I got to go get somebody. So that'll that'll be my only option to go to if I'm in one of those dire dire need situations. Yeah, yeah, and it's and thing to it about it is, I think the way we describe it, that's that's the way we would like it, but it's it's not a perfect world with the trans with the nil and l transfer portal. It's I don't think it can ever, you know, be like it used to fully. Like, I mean, that's, I mean, Nebraska in the heyday, I mean, that's where, that's where it happened was you recruited your offensive linemen and they were able to redshirt a year and you were able to get them in the weight room. And then by the time they saw the field, you know, they were late sophomores, early juniors, and they'd had, they'd had some time not only to learn the offense, but, you know, change their bodies completely. Well, now with NIL, you have these guys, they want to play right away. And if they don't play their freshman year, it's like, well, I'm going to the portal. So it's, 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 it's that situation that's really, you know, changed not only um, college football, but college basketball also, because now you have, you're going to have guys you're going to recruit and they're not, maybe you want to redshirt them that first year, but they're going to be like, well, no, nah, that is, that's not working so much for me. I can go to this other school and play right away. So, yeah. That's where I, I would say, I would say something like my old coach Mike Holmgren would say. He said, "Here's your bus ticket at Apple, then, mm-hmm. you know." Because developing, I like for the development side. I also hear Bob hearing that because when you get a player and you have them where they're just a block of clay, and then if they say, "Okay, I want to go to a reporter," they like they didn't even give themselves a chance to get coached by you either. So then the coach too is both at a at a loss. But when that coach gets to put his time, coaches. <clears throat> coaching staff get to put their time and effort after a few years. Yes, it doesn't pan out then. Okay, then it might be a time yeah. to change. But then if it does work out, now you got a player that is all, I say, 100% bought into you and the two or three coaches that help that player grow and get better and understand the game a little bit more. And then you have that you have that culture now in that in that locker room. And, um, and a lot of teams need that here at the college level, as we're talking about. I would say this. Um, I think there's there's a couple different ways to look at it. Let's be honest here, guys. Nebraska's not in the NCAA tournament without the transfer portal. Correct. So yeah. I think I think it's important to kind of be realistic about the type of program maybe Nebraska is and, yeah. and how they yeah. need to build their roster too, mm-hmm. right? Because like Duke, yeah, sure, Duke can go out and, and get, you know, the top. They have they have two of the top four players in the in the recruiting class mm-hmm. coming in next year for for the Blue Devils. I think Nebraska, you can develop and still utilize the transfer portal. Yeah. And, and I think a lot about a lot of it is identifying the the correct piece, oh. um, which I think Fred Hoiberg has gotten a lot better at over these last three years. Right, with you, you see some of the additions um, that Nebraska's brought in: the Sam Greasels, the Derek Walkers, Jawan Rink. Um, you, I mean, you can go Bryce Rice. Williams. 
right? Yeah. So, so I think I think the identifying piece of it has gotten much better. It also just because you utilize the transfer portal doesn't mean it's it has to be like a one and done type of player, right? Juwan Gary's been here for for multiple seasons, mm-hmm. and you expect him to be here for. I mean, Nebraska staff can utilize the portal with. All right, let's go get a guy that's had one year of college, one you know, been in college basketball for one mm-hmm. season, understands the lifestyle of being a college basketball athlete. Yeah. But let's bring him here. We'll we'll fine tune him. We'll still develop him for the next three years to go. And, and so I think like when you and also when you look at like Nebraska's point guard situation specifically, guys, Nebraska, just calling it what it is, swung and missed on a couple of pieces last year. They they missed out. They they just didn't get a couple of guys yeah. to to want to come to Nebraska, and that happens. So then they had to resort to a guy in, in Aaron Eulis, who stats won't jump off the page, but had experience, right? Maybe a guy that you can mm-hmm. fine tune and you can develop. Well, you also didn't know and you weren't aware of everything that that the baggage that came with Aaron Eulis regarding the the sports betting scandal. Yeah. So now situations change a little bit. And so that's where I I view this upcoming year as like, all right, you 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 also tested out a guy like Jamarcus Lawrence at the true number one, and that just did not gel well, right? Mm-hmm. Bryce Williams is, is really, really good, but maybe there's a spot, a different type of role that he could play where it's going to elevate his game even more, therefore elevating the rest of the team. Exactly. Because I will say this, guys, when you look at the March at March Madness, right, and in the NCAA tournament. Every single team that's playing on in week two, in the second weekend, right? All these sweet 16 teams has one guy that can take over a game anytime they need it, right? Illinois has Terrence Shannon. You have uh, North Carolina has RJ Davis and Armando Baycott. You have uh, in Arizona, you Arizona have Caleb Love. Love. Creighton, you have multiple people. Tennessee has Dalton, Dalton Connect. Purdue has Zach Eady. Yeah. Um, Marquette has Kolek and Cam Jones. All of these guys, all these teams has one guy. Even the Cinderella's have a guy yeah. when, cool. when they make it to week two. Nebraska, we kind of saw it over the last couple of weeks, not even just against Texas A&M. At times, they struggled. Okay, who's going to be the guy? Mm-hmm. Who's going to be the one that we can truly lean on? I think that's part of, of going forward, identifying Rink Mass was kind of dis- dis- disappointed me on Friday night mm-hmm. um, w- when it came to physicality, right? G- Bryce Williams struggled on the defensive end quite a bit. Um, CJ Wilcher struggled down the stretch of the entire season. Kase wasn't hitting shots. He was a little frustrated. Think, yeah, his, things his, like his that. Things, yeah, things like that will happen. But I think when it comes to postseason play, whether it's Big Ten tournament or NCAA tournament, we're starting to realize you need yes, good guard play, but man, you need somebody that can take over a game. And and it's something you know, talking about nil, talking about portal. Um, as a AA Ron says here, the portal allows you to get uh, a proven player with experience, whereas high school players may not ever pan out. You know, true statement there, but it's really. The coaching staff reading the forecast, right? Look at your roster, yep. and then know like, okay, this is a this is a this is a port this is a portal year. <clears throat> we need one or two people. Like we just need that one yeah. person. And you just but that's so that's what you do at a coach staff. So I'm, I'm Hoiberg over there with his staff right now is already they already st- should be starting. I say if not, they take a week. Some coaches staff take a week off. Some, I don't think you can anymore. Some, some coaches staff go right. Right. No, I'm just saying. I'm yeah. Just, I'm just going. No, like, I, I know you are. I'm, I'm just saying describing, like just in general. I'm just, I don't think you can. I'm just describing how the process goes for off season. Right. There's some coaches staffs that take a week off. Then some coaches staff take a couple of days off, maybe an hour, and then boom, they're right on it. And then read the forecast. Look at your roster. Read. And it's like, all right, we got junior, senior, and then you know. How conversations went. You knew. You know how practices went. You know how grades are. Everything off the court, and then now will tell you. Okay, yeah, we need to go portal. We gotta make sure our NILs in place, mm-hmm. stuff like that. And so you do an assessment. Yeah, you do your SWAT basically, your strength weaknesses, um, what you're going on with your roster and with your team, with your organization. You do that, then you'll know. Okay, yeah, we gotta go to portal. Just one. Mm-hmm. We just need maybe a point guard or or center, something like that. They'll tell you. So once you go to that process, then, yeah, it's a little, I say, clearer picture for your staff instead of just trying to do it right away without really putting no thought into it. Yeah. I also think, I think, like, the the pitch that Fred Hoiberg's able to make now is, like, 
to a point guard specifically, great, right? Great. It's so so much of a better spot than than it was three or four yeah, years say ago. Last year, a couple years ago. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a it's a more inviting, it's an easier pitch for him when he's talking to players, even at the high school level. So for him and the staff, what they did this year with Casey and this, any of the other upperclassmen done, I mean, this is progress. I know a loss is a loss from both sides, the men's and the women's, but where were we? Were y'all talking? Yeah, we weren't talking about Nebraska basketball mm -hmm. like this last, yeah. last year. Correct me if I'm wrong. No. Exactly. Right. So this is progress. Now we're going to be the goal is go here next year, go to the next round, and then the next round, and you know, on and so forth. So that's what we want to see here consistency and then improvement at the same time. Yeah. And also to bring up the excitement of the basketball team, that's going to help, help the NIL, you know, the collectives and stuff like that, because. Now you've got more excitement for the team and hopefully you have more people that, you know, will donate more money and then that'll have a chance for us to bring in, you know, better players or players that we feel that can fill, you know, the needs of Nebraska basketball. So it's all, it all kind of runs together at the end of the day, I guess. Yeah. All right, Rafi. Well, we didn't get to history. Unfortunately, we can, we can touch on some birthdays because I'm sure you got some interesting pieces at the start of, of the next segment, but we are very late. We got to get to break, so send us right. away, my man. All right, we'll throw it a break. Just the drive, 93.7, the ticket. Your business runs like a well-oiled machine. It's important that your actual machines do too. Stern is here to make sure you don't have to worry about that. They provide solutions for heavy equipment and automotive fuels, lubricants, and equipment guard options. And with Stern's commitment to customer service for the past 40 years, you know you have a partner to help support your operations for years to come. Contact Roger at Stern Company by calling 1-800-477-2744 or visit them online at stern.co. Stern Company, where problems meet solvers. Bagels and Joe is the perfect place for breakfast or lunch in March. Try their pesto cream cheese on any breakfast sandwich. For lunch, try the same in panini with provolone, sesame oil, and tomatoes on a ciabatta roll with bagel chips. Perfect for Lent. Four locations in Lincoln and one in Seward, Bagels and Joe. Are you tired of living in pain? It's time to take control. At Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery, we're your one-stop shop for expert care in Lincoln. From broken bones to complex reconstruction, our skilled team will help you get back on track. Visit prairieortho.com today and discover why we're the trusted choice for thousands of patients. Don't let pain hold you back. Take the first step towards a better pain-free life with Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery where healing begins. Call 402-489-4700. Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402-590-5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, garage doors, and more. Action Plumbing, Heating, Air, and Electric is the call I make when I have a need for plumbing services. Whether it's for my home or office, if I need a repair to a water heater, softener, or even my garbage disposal, I know I can count on Action to help. In one simple call, their amazing customer service team promptly schedules a service call, often getting to my needs within a day. Action delivers honest quality services we can count on. To learn more, visit actionlincoln.com. If you're looking for a pre-owned tractor to upgrade your operation this year, you'll find a wide selection at your local Landmark Implement. We'll work with you to find the right equipment for your needs at a price that's right for you, all backed by Landmark's extensive parts and service network. During the month of March, choose from a six-month interest waiver or 4.5% fixed rate for up to 60 months on used 6M and R, 7R, 8R, or 9R tractors with approved credit. Visit LandmarkM.com to see our complete inventory or stop by your local Landmark location today and experience the Landmark difference. Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606. 
or visit high-electric.com to get started. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Your Lincoln forecast for today, a chance of rain expected throughout the day. See falling temperatures with a high around 52. Tonight, a chance of wintry mix and blowing snow possible. See a low around 23. And tomorrow, a slight chance of snow in the morning. Otherwise, mainly sunny and windy. High around 36. I'm meteorologist Kyle Clutch for 93.7 Ticket and the theticketfm.com. 93.7 The Ticket is proud to provide listeners with daily opportunities to win contests and prizes on our airwaves, and we'd like to take this opportunity to remind you of a couple rules. All participants must be 21 or older and must wait 30 days after winning a prize before participating in another contest. Once you win, you have 30 days to pick up your prize at the KNTK Studios, 1040 O Street in Lincoln, or your prize will be forfeited. Thank you for participating in our contest, and thank you for listening to 93.7 The Ticket. Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. In every office, there's two types of people. There are those who bring in bagels and those who eat the bagels that someone else brought in. Everybody likes the first person. Be that first person. Weekday mornings at 7.30, you have a chance to win a business box of bagels from Bagels and Joe. All you have to do is shut up Sipple. Two questions for you, two for Sip. Win and the bagels are yours. Lose, well, you don't want to lose. You lost Monday, you lost Wednesday, you're a loser. Shut up Sipple. Weekday mornings at 7.30, brought to you by Bagels and Joe. Power Combo BOGO? Huh? Yes. If you purchase an air conditioner, you receive a furnace completely free. At John Henry's, our professionals want to ensure you are comfortable in your home all year long, no matter what Nebraska has to throw at us. Call today to schedule your free estimate and learn more about the free furnace waiting for you. Give John Henry's a call today. 435-5555. John Henry's Plumbing. Heating and electrical. Welcome to The Drive with A.D. Raff and Amon Gray. Former Husker football national champion, speaker, and author, Aaron Davis. Nebraska will win the national championship. The Cornhuskers beat Miami. It is history, 13-0, and bring that trophy back to Lincoln. Former Arena Football League quarterback, former head coach of the Capital City Crush, and guru of Husker football history, Chris Raff. 25 straight wins for the Cornhuskers. One of the most dominating stretches in college football history. We may have seen one of the best teams in the history of college football tonight. 12-year NFL veteran. He's got some speed to go with strength. Huskers and Green Bay Packers Hall of Famer. Shovel pass to Green. Into Vikings territory. Finally brought down. And University of Nebraska eSports coach Amon Green. Look at Green. All by himself. 20, 10, touchdown. Sponsored by Doors Plus on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, we're back here on The Drive. 93.7 The Ticket. I'm your host, Amon Green, along with Nick, my man Raph as well. AD just had to step out to his other business. <laughs> Get this show going, Raph. Nick, what's good? Well, gentlemen, uh, underrated. Oh, go, go ahead, Raph, because we didn't get to history last segment. We had a yeah, caller, caller from Bob. Thanks for thanks to Bob for for calling in. Uh, what what quick history facts you got for us, Raph? Well, let me do these reads real, real quick. I missed our first hour of Sand Hills Global that probably sponsors. Uh, Sand Hills Global is looking to fill hundreds of new openings in sales, traveling, support, software development, web design, and more. Career and internship opportunities are available at the global headquarters in Lincoln. Apply today at sandhills.jobs. Okay, so some history for y'all. First off, I got to let everyone know it's International Waffle Day. So I want to wish awesome. Chef Bob a happy Waffle Day. <laughs> Sounds good. And then, oh, where's my, I got a good, a great piece of history. I just got to find it here real quick. I can make sure I say it right. 1934, first the first Augusta National Invitation Tournament is held. Horton Smith wins 
with the 20 foot, 20 foot birdie mm -hmm. and he defeats Craig Wood by one stroke. And that national invitation tournament is now called the Masters. Wow. Mm. The Masters just a couple of weeks from uh, getting underway. August or August, uh, April. April 11th through the 14th is uh, this up this upcoming Masters. Yeah, and that'll be our first weekend of an in-person land weekend that we're going to have okay. at Ohio State um, for the BEC, the Big Esports Conference, all the Big Ten schools, and uh, their champ our championship weekend. Nice. Yep, there you go. R Raff, Chef, Raff. Chef Bob's listening. There you go. Well, happy International Waffle Day to uh, to to all the folks at Heavenly Waffles. There, they are amazing. I might have They're another so idea for them. I had out in packs. I went out to Boston, had mm -hmm. the coaching uh, clinic that I went to, or I say conference, coaches conference, but then had a little fun to go over to Pax East, and they had a food court inside the convention center of food oh, trucks. Nice, and they had one food truck that had waffles any way you want, and one of the options was a hot, a waffle vanilla ice cream sandwich with the two oh, waffles. They, they've done that. They've done that. Oh, my um, God. Oh, okay. Didn't I think know. it was up in Ho Omaha. I think if the... Oh, I don't want to... I think it maybe the table, I think. But, yeah, they... um Okay. They've, they, they have done it with ice cream, and they're amazing. Yeah. Wow. It was delicious. That sounds so good. It was so good. That it sounds was. so good. It was. Um, Raph, if you had to pick right now, we'll get to it later in, in the next couple of weeks more in depth, Who's who's your who's your master's pick this year? Oh, um, man, I haven't really thought much about it. I'm gonna go with Scotty Scheffler. Okay, there you go. I'm going with the favorite. Yeah, I see Tiger Woods is in the field. What about he's what about what, what about a guy like Brooks Kepka? Oh yeah, he's always dangerous. If he's healthy, definitely. Yeah, he he's one. Of, he'd be one of my one of my guys too. He'll. Yeah. And you got to think Rory McIlroy's got to be in there sometimes. Some just needs to some. break through. Yep. Yeah. I, it's been. It should be a fun. It should be a fun Masters. It's. It's you know you have the live guys coming together with PGA guys that that have won, of course. So that'll be, that'll be interesting to watch that that mixture because it's kind of the first time of the year where they actually um, play together. So it should be, yeah. it should be fun. And then I see Double Eagles already. You know already saying. Come on down. So oh, yeah. excited to we know where we'll be. There. Oh yeah. Oh so, yeah. Any uh any birthdays for us today? Oh yeah, we got a couple birthdays here. We've got born in nineteen sixty six, Tom Glavin, form picture uh, for the oh, yeah, of course. For the Braves. Yep. Yeah. Fifty fifty eight years old. Cool, cool dude. Uh, you met you met Tom Glavin? Yeah, I met Tom Glavin. He uh does some type of um it was a charity event that he supported in Wisconsin. Okay. And I was there. It was actually in Appleton, Wisconsin, which is only like 30 minutes from my house. And I saw him twice in a row. It was the same event I did every year. It was the um, the red, something red, which red, uh, dang, can't think of the coach's last name, but his first name was Red. Um, and big foundation family created after he passed away mm -hmm. in that area. And so he would, he would come back every year to the event. And I was like, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And he was a big, obviously. Coming to that area, being a Packer fan, so. yeah, for sure, all day. That's, cool. That's awesome. Yep. <laughs> uh, so heavenly waffles, Chef Bob, the bananas Foster heavenly waffles with ice cream is Ooh. amazing. Ooh. Dang, gotta try it out now. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, test it. Um, all right, guys. So oh, one more birthday. I can't ahead. forget about. I can't forget about her. She's forty-two years old today. Her name is Danica Patrick. Ooh. Nice, there Danica. You go. Danica Patrick. Still making uh, fun commercials to watch. Like yeah. Them. Yeah. And winning. Yeah. She, she's one. I mean, she retired what now? Like four or five years ago. And she's been able to just continue to, you know, do her commercials. And I know she does like the workout stuff and everything. And she's, mm -hmm. she's got, she's turned herself into a complete brand now where. Yeah. Insane money. She, she started with like the GoDaddy commercials, yeah. right? Yep. And, uh, I got full disclosure here. I did not know she retired. Oh yeah, a couple years I'm ago. I'm thinking she was just doing her thing. Commercials, yeah, a couple years ago. Driving the cars, winning. Had a lot of success. Really? What? Yeah. Yep. Oh. No more car driving. Well, yeah. Hey, she's winning in that area still. Yeah. Commercials and everything. They're good. Solid yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, um, gentlemen, uh, an under under talked about uh, uh -oh. piece of of information going on this week is that spring ball starts today. 
But um, um, we we can step aside from NCAA tournament action for a little bit here. Catch our breath. Spring ball starts today. Nebraska fans are going to have an opportunity to hear from Troy Dannon in a professional capacity for the first time as athletic director tomorrow. As media, we'll get our first look at the Huskers on Thursday. Right, so thurs Thursday morning at 9 a.m., we'll get our first look at the uh, the Huskers in spring football. Obviously, big piece is Dylan Riola, right? Of course. Um, Hi, ben. Yeah, so oh, there's that for you. But I'm also like really interested in in to seeing how like the running back room shapes out. There's a couple of of new faces, right? They they go out 100%. and go, they get Dante Dowell from from the Oregon Ducks. Oh, yeah. Are, are there are there any in. are there any position groups just off the top of your guys' head where throughout spring ball and then as we approach, you know, fall ball and stuff, you're sitting there going, yeah, you know what? I'm kind of excited to see how this shakes out outside of of Dylan Riola at quarterback, obviously. Um, I say between running backs, obviously for myself, but then O line. Yeah, that's always a big deal every year. And uh, spring ball is the time for the guys that didn't get in a whole lot of time every at every position to be real, but at the O line position, really to uh, then work on their technique, yeah, their blocking skills, and then obviously their mental to get ready for training camp to see if they could be crack into that roster or come back and have a better year from the following year. So I'm going to, I'm going to go receivers just for the fact that you're going to get banks and uh, Nair in here. And then you're going to have the younger guys, which you, you probably are not going to see a complete transformation, but I'm, I'm excited to see um, with Malachi Coleman and Jalen Lloyd, over their summers, just because it seems like receivers, when they go to their like their camps and they're throwing, they're throwing summer camps and stuff like that, and um, throwing in the summers where they make their biggest jumps. But it'll be fun mm-hmm. to see just a little bit more experience. And then you, and I'm not sure like where like um, Isaiah Garcia Castanet where he's at in his his um, yeah. with his knee. If when he will be back, if it'll be something where they're holding up till fall. Or if he's to a point now where he's able to to practice a little bit, or what he'll be up to. So it'll be it'll be cool to see a little bit more depth with Nebraska receiving core. Yeah, well, we and, it. and and that's only going to help out quarterbacks, right? I 100%. mean, one hundred percent. So uh, speaking of wide receivers, Matt Rule talked about them and how they can help the quarterbacks uh, when he met with the media last week. Here's what Matt Rule had to say on the wide receivers: the way the quarterback plays well is everyone plays better. And um, when you go back and look at us play last year, okay. When we faced zone teams, we, 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 we threw the football at a reasonable rate. When we faced uh, either aggressive quarters, match teams that were physical with us, or man teams, we, we struggled. And um, so a lot of that is, you know, a lot of guys we invested in early got hurt. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Marcus Washington ran by the guy at Illinois, caught the ball down the sideline. We need, and then he got hurt. You know, Isaiah got hurt. Um, you know, Ramirez got hurt kind of as an option route runner on the backfield. So I think now we have all those freshmen that we had to go put in in the end of last year. Mm -hmm. Um, We have more time on task with them. They're bigger, stronger. You know, it's like I'm sitting there talking, you know, Jalen's running track, but like Jalen knows what it was felt like to go out there against Michigan State and those guys. He's fast. So they're trying to grab him. And as he goes to practice now, I think, you know, he'll be better. So I think we're way better. Um, I love what Jamal Banks has brought to us. Uh, He's a competitive guy. He's played a ton of football. You know, you meet a lot of people in, in recruiting and they tell you, like, oh, you know, this is what I'm about. And the portal's so different now. It's like I hear some college coaches, the reason why they, they like the portal is instead of recruiting someone for two years, they can recruit them for two weeks and get them. <laughs> well, you don't know anybody in two weeks. And, you you know, I met Jamal. He was talking about his his passions in life and the things he wanted to do. And what I've really learned is that he's serious about it. He wants to have an impact on the world. He's, he's a really cool guy that everyone should get to know. And he's a really good player. Uh, nayor has got all the talent in the world and – I see those young players they've played now. They have, you know, they have confidence. You know, Demetrius Bell was, you know, you ask anybody on our defense what Demetrius Bell was like on the scout team last year, they'll tell you. And so it'll be great to see him this spring. So I think we'll be significantly better, but I think to really hone down on it, it's going it's to be our ability versus man to man teams. It's going to be our ability versus, you know, the aggressive quarters grab you defense as you see in the Big Ten. And, you know, you need, you need Trey Palmer every once in a while to run through a safety like he did at Iowa and run by everybody. And that changes things. And uh, we had a couple of those last year. You know, I think, uh, uh, Jalen had 350 plus touchdowns, so it's just hey, Jalen takes a year, you know, year step forward. I think we'll have real com- competitiveness in that room. 
So there you go. Uh, Pr- pretty pretty lengthy answer, but yeah. uh, some interesting pieces there from Matt Rule. Yeah, I agree. I mean, having that freshman reminded me of just how the season went for all of them, all the receivers. Mm-hmm. You know, it was a it was patch and go. It was a great. It was a, some 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 glimpses of good plays, mm-hmm. big stuff, but then a couple because it was youth, right? Yeah. And so now you got that experience, and then you went through the the rugged and getting beat up basically. Because getting beat up, not just physically, but mentally. Yeah. And and like Coach Rule said, DB, the good DBs are going to, regardless of how good they are with their feet, they're still going to grab a little bit. And they do that to frustrate a receiver. And what you got to do as a receiver, just for, you like, you know what, I know this is going to happen, but now they experience that stuff. So they already, if they remember and flash back and then use that, those learning experiences going into spring ball, they'll know to tell their teammate, hey, grab me. Because when we played against Michigan, we had DBs doing this. When we played against Ohio State or this team here, I want you to simulate those DBs because they used to grab and tug. And, mm-hmm. you know, as a receiver, naturally you want to get annoyed because you don't, you're not open for your quarterback. So make sure you get to that point mentally where you don't get annoyed, but then you know how to work off of it as well. So, Amon, I, I wanted to ask you, when did like things like slow down for you? Um, I know you had, you know, tremendous, you know, freshman year, I think 900 yeah. yards rushing, but. When was it where you felt comfortable or where you were like, okay, things have slowed down for me? When did like the college game sort of like change for you when you weren't just always, you know, playing on instinct, I guess, but actually where you actually, you know, felt comfortable with, you know, everything? I will say it was, it was into the season a little bit because I was getting garbage, I say carries and game time. Yeah. I was at the end of the game, LP, CCDV were doing a lion's share of work. I would say probably that game, it was my Washington State game. I had got a lot. I had got a lot of play time prior to that, but I remember, um, like I said, we were already down LP at that time, and my, it was myself. And then DP got hobbled a little bit more with a hammy in that game, and that's where I they, I got thrown in for the lion's share of it, and a couple big runs. I think I had one, maybe two touchdowns in that game, and that right there. And re- and part of the reason was because we had played obviously a lot of teams in the Big Eight at that time, all the Big Ten teams we faced. We had faced Oklahoma, then we had had about our big game in Michigan State. But then, see, I grew up on the West Coast, so playing against Washington State to me, I knew what their what caliber type of competitive competition was we were, we were going to face. Watching USC growing up, watching UCLA, watching those West Coast teams, I knew that they would games would go back and forth for the whole Pac-12 at back Pac-10 at that time, back in the mid '90s. So when we came in that game and we were down seven, that was the only team that had us down. But then we had to fight back. But then myself also getting in that game. Knowing those type of athletes with California players, most of them were on that Washington State roster. And I understood that. And I'm like, okay, if I could do that against these guys. And I already did against, I mean, in practice and getting a few yards against the Patchers from time to time. But I knew then. After that game, I was like, all right, I know I could do this and uh, have confidence. And also behind me, what made it easier is I had teammate support and coaching support when I got in there as a true freshman. So, and, that, and you're going to see that. You're going to see that this year, I think, with with Nebraska, with the receivers. I think just that getting that experience, mm-hmm. and I think, and you're going to have them now, like you said, that they're going to be able to go into practice and be like, "Hey, Michigan did this to me. Let's simulate this." When last year they were going into the season, there was really they had no clue what to expect. They were, you know, basically flying blind. So I, I see a lot of positives for you know what what can happen with this year's team. Yeah. And then another mindset is like you basically this is just uh, this is whiteboard stuff. This is spring ball, right? Mm -hmm. There's no games. So you can mess and messing up. This is where if you want to mess up now, this is the time, because then now you can look at first week of spring ball, make a couple of not saying go out there and make mistakes. I'm just saying if they happen, which they will, because you're human, go out there. Mistakes are made, but then you go to whiteboard. Say, hey, coach, okay, what was what 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 could I get better? What technique here to win? Yeah. If I'm an old lineman, running back, DB, linebacker, whatever, as a player, go to your coach or even go to your teammate. Go to the veteran in the linebacker room. Go to the veteran in the old line, D line, and say, hey, guys, like, I did, you saw that one one on one I had with so and so? Give me some feedback and, and don't, and don't be, be mean. Yeah. Cause I, then I can learn a lot better. Cause that's how you're going to learn. That's how you're going to get better. So, and then by the way, Raf, uh, I had a thousand yards my freshman year. So, sorry. Dang. I forget. I know it was only like the, the funny thing about it was wasn't it like only like 127 carries or something crazy it was like something, that. It, yes, it was because that was 
like I said, half of the season I was getting garbage carries. It, I'm not wow. going to I'm not going to deny it. It was garbage stuff. Yeah. But then by you know by when unfortunately AOP gets suspended. But then for but those first six games or first three games, first three games I was getting garbage carries. But then after that, what fourth game on, I was in the in the starting lineup. So there you go. Yeah. All right, Rafi, yeah. take us away. Okay, before I throw it to break, guess what, everyone? The Denver Broncos are getting new uniforms. You know That's what happened? The, you know what happened the last time they got new uniforms? They won two consecutive Super Bowls. So man. I see history repeat. History's repeating itself. Right? No, no, that, no, no, that, no, no, that, no, no, no. John that, Elway. That John Elway. John Elway. <laughs> a little further back. A little, a little further, further back. back. All right. <laughs> we'll, we'll throw it to break. This is the drive. 93.7 the ticket. Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402 590 5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, garage doors, and more. Picture a hot summer day, sun blazing in the fields as far as the eye can see. Now imagine you're a teenager making bank, all while enjoying the great outdoors. Welcome to Nats Detasseling Inc., where they're not afraid to sweat. This summer, join the Nats team for an unforgettable experience. Forge friendships, learn responsibility, and earn money. Visit notafraidtosweat.com now. That's to tasseling, where hard work meets good times. Sand Hills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. Shopping for new flooring is different today. Getting your questions answered, making the right selection, getting the best value, and install quickly and professionally. Visit OStreetCarpet.com or shop our store. We'll answer all your questions and help you make the right choice. You'll be enjoying your new floor at just days for less than you'd pay elsewhere. Carpet, vinyl, wood, laminate, tile, and area rugs. We've got it all. O Street Carpet. 1732 O Street. Family owned and operated. Always the best value. It's getting nicer outside, but it's still hit or miss in the spring on golf weather. Not at Double Eagle Golf. You're home for always 72 degree weather and no win. Book a bay with some friends for a weekend or come by for golf and happy hour on a weekday. Spring leagues are underway, but stay tuned for info on indoor golf tournaments and book your bay for the Masters in April. That's all at Double Eagle Golf inside the Kinetic Sports Complex on West O Street. Online at DoubleEagle.Golf. Plains Cover Crop is your one-stop seed shop. Call us now for spring and summer forages, CRP mixes, and fall cover crop blends. We do farm-specific consulting for practical and efficient seed blends to fit your geography and goals. With a very diverse inventory, we will tailor a blend just for you. We're also looking for contract growers, and we buy and sell rye. Find us online at plainscovercrop.com. Timeless agronomy practices paired with modern technology. East Highway 20 in Orchard and across Nebraska. Mosaic is a nonprofit whole person healthcare organization that embraces God's call and relentlessly pursues opportunities that empower people with diverse needs to live their best lives. Mosaic in Southeast Nebraska, serving Lincoln and Beatrice, would like to invite you to their monthly Discover the Possibilities tour events. 
Events are held on the third Wednesday of every month and are a great way to understand Mosaic's mission. To RSVP, please contact Melindy at 402-429-0088 or visit mosaicinfo.org slash Southeast Nebraska. Ironhide Construction is hiring. They're looking for hardworking, self-motivated individuals who are team players. Ironhide Construction has openings for an experienced project manager, estimator, apprentice, skilled laborer, and erector or installer. They will train the right people and make sure you understand the position and requirements. At Ironhide Construction, it's own it, be honest, and do it right. Apply today and learn more about their other benefits at ironhideconstruction.com, where they're committed to you every step of the way. Power Combo BOGO? Huh? Yes. If you purchase an air conditioner, you receive a furnace completely free. At John Henry's, our professionals want to ensure you are comfortable in your home all year long, no matter what Nebraska has to throw at us. Call today to get more about the free furnace waiting for you. Give John Henry's a call today. 435-5555. John Henry's Plumbing. Heating and air. And electrical. Empower a child today with a teammate's mentoring program. Hope is only a conversation away when you choose to share your talent, time, and heart with a child. Together, you can build a relationship based on strengths and chart a brighter future one week at a time. Find out how you can be a mentor by visiting LincolnTeammates.org. Become what you needed as a kid by joining joining the teammates mentoring program today. If you're in Seward or Milford, listen up. Select Plumbing is now servicing your area with no trip charges from Lincoln. Select Plumbing works on a variety of issues for your home and business, including general plumbing, water heaters, faucet and fixture repair, underground sewer and water repairs, backflow testing, and more. Keep your property free from leaks and other issues. Call today for a free estimate, 402-560-6197. It's not just Lincoln, Waverly, and the surrounding area anymore. It's also Seward and Milford with no trip charges. Contact Select Plumbing to inquire at 402 402- 560-6197. Spring is a time of new beginnings and trying new things. If you haven't tried Fierce Cheese Spread yet, the time is now. For parties for St. Patrick's Day and Easter or celebrating the NCAA tournament with friends, there's no better dip to bring everyone together and celebrate something from Nebraska. Get to your local grocery store today and load up on Fierce Cheese Spread. No event or party is complete without it on your table. Hey guys, Jake Sorensen here from Early Break. The garage door at our house has been needing replacement for a couple years, and a few months ago, we finally did something about it. Steve's Garage Doors and Services was great through the whole process in providing options and also going to the next level to get a door that was approved by our HOA. And best of all, the removal of the old door and installation of the new door was done smoothly with no issues. Call Steve's Garage Doors and Services today at 402-480-2840. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Green on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, we're back here on The Drive, 93.7 The Ticket. I'm your host, Amon Green, along with Nick. And my man, Raph, A.D., is taking a break. No, he has work. So yeah. we are He's, back at it here to close he, up. He's saying the Lexington, Kentucky basketball jokes right now to his uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. audience. I'm sure he is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, hey, Rav, I look, we checked up the uniforms. Hey, don't worry. I'm not from Oakland. I promise I'm not from Oakland. We're good. There's not much <laughs> difference what I'm seeing right here. Oh, they, so they, did they release them? Or I thought they yeah, said they... They, they said 32 teams. And they, right now they're only saying four, the Jets, the Broncos, the Lions, and the Texans. Because they I just came out and said different. they're going to be announcing them. So I don't think the official oh, ones are out yet. Might so. be old. I hope this is an old picture. Yeah, they're, they're, they're going to be already. they're going to be amazing. I mean, oh, it's okay. deep. But I'll tell you what, <laughs> what's love, funny today this. is yeah. keep an eye on this. I think I think this was you, Nick, that said this. I can't remember. Uh-oh. But Uh-oh. Justin Herbert might get traded. I think there's a possibility starting to grow mm-hmm. a little bit because Jim Harbaugh today in his meetings came out and said that um jj mccarthy's the best player in the draft this year and it just i don't know i just hello hey, but that's his kid pretty much i mean yeah but you know, that's his, one of his kids do you, do you want your kid at quarterback hell yeah. yeah there you go so yeah he's gonna he's gonna campaign there isn't enough room at the end for the bulls he's campaigning them. right now he's possibly hey i'm okay if there's some way denver can strike a deal and be like hey 
Why do you think Denver's a landing spot there? I I think that um, Justin Herbert would fit into um, Sean Payton's offense the way the way he likes to throw the ball right. and the way and he's tall and he's he's shown it you know he's, well he, 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 <laughs> comment. hey hey after hey, tall after, quarterbacks went through both there you go okay no I'm telling you right now one of the things that hurts Russell Wilson is he cannot see the middle of the field because he's too short. Hey, he's known that his whole life. He's done well. He yeah. no, he's done great. But but in different in different offenses, like in Sean Payton's offense, Russell Wilson wasn't who Sean Payton wanted at quarterback. No, I'm oh. just, and I understand people are going to come back and be like, "Well, Drew B, Drew Brees was short exactly in his offense, saying, Raff, but, it, but they're but they're different. But they're different styles of quarterbacks. True. Very true. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, I will agree yeah. with you on that. Do you think it makes it more difficult to trade him, considering it's it'd be an inner division or in division trade? I would say yes, but Jim Harbaugh has always been sort of like kind of the the odd duck kind of the way he coaches. Yeah. So I think there is that possibility that maybe he would do it if the if the if the trade was right. Interesting. I just think it's fascinating. I think the reason that I brought this up overall was because you look at, we, we talk so much about championship windows, right? And not to bring this up again, but like we talk so much about, Hey, we could do this. this right. Is our job. It's like championship windows, Brock Purdy and, and the 49ers, right? They have the, the five years of, of Brock Purdy on his rookie deal four plus than one, I guess is the way they structure it with yeah. a, with an, a, an organization option. And it's like you're trying to, while while not paying a lot for a quarterback, trying to build the most and the best guys you can around them. Mm -hmm. So don't forget that the Chargers signed Justin Herbert to like the two hundred and sixty two and a half million dollar deal a couple of years ago, and and now you have Austin Eckler go to to Washington. You have. Keenan Allen get traded for a fourth round pick to the Bears. Mike Williams got released. You may bring him back, but for the time being, no, he's, he signed with someone. Oh, he, he is. Oh, he's back. Oh, excuse me. So he signed away. So Mike yep. Williams is, oh, is out. Yeah, he's gone. He's, I, I oh. missed. I missed that one. Sorry, that's on me. But still, to the point though. Then you look at the offense and say, what are you building around your two hundred and sixty million dollar quarterback? And you have to, yeah. if if you're Justin Herbert you you are curious about that i think because what you got for those players moving on was next to nothing and then you also on defense you restructured a couple of deals but is that what your quarter your two once again 260 million dollar quarterback wants is that restructured contracts on defense while you're not necessarily improving the offense a whole lot in free agency yet yeah no i i, I just throwing it out there Plus, the Broncos need a quarterback. <laughs> wishful, thinking, wishful fan thinking there. For a, man, a, a man can dream. I like yeah, to dream. Yeah, so yeah, you know, yeah, in these days and times of uh, free agency and transfer, but it football, did. Fans got to dream. It did catch my eye though. You know when just the way he, he's you know saying JJ McCarthy's you know the number one quarterback in the draft. It's just like I I get having your guy, but that. I mean that's say that's saying something when you're like he is the best. I'm like, wow, that so I'm like, man, if you if you want the best, you better trade your quarterback and get him so then the Broncos can have him. Yeah, that's hardball <laughs> tapping in. Yeah. He's not <laughs> tapping in. He's he putting, oh, that, man. He's putting that out there just for his admins above him that make yeah. you know in charge of money. And then also obviously fans on both sides, Michigan fans and Charger fans. Because they know, you know, you got to say something like that to then grab yeah. the attention. Like, like he making that one statement has it's all over the place. Yeah, it's on ESPN, yeah. NFL Network. Right, we're talking about it yeah. here in Nebraska. So he did his job that might get his college quarterback a job with him, basically. So yeah. it may it may happen. So yeah, and then we got we got Vince Vince Watson. Oh my goodness. Denver changing its colors to hot pink and baby blue seems fitting. <laughs> oh, come on, awesome. people. That would be There awesome. was a time Denver was great. Yeah, there was a time. There was a time. All right, Rafi, we got one final segment left. We got Rafi's good take, and we got to close out the show. When we return, go ahead and send us away, Rafi. 
All right, we'll throw it a break. This is the drive, 93.7 the ticket. the ticket. Fox KFXL weather brought to you by Bryant air conditioning, heating, electrical, and plumbing. Your Lincoln forecast for today, a chance of rain expected throughout the day. See falling temperatures with a high around 52. Tonight, a chance of wintry mix and blowing snow possible. We'll see a low around 23. And tomorrow, a slight chance of snow in the morning. Otherwise, mainly sunny and windy. High around 36. A meteorologist Kyle Cluck for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Hey guys, Jake Sorensen here from Early Break. The garage door at our house has been needing replacement for a couple years, and a few months ago, we finally did something about it. Steve's Garage Doors and Services was great through the whole process in providing options and also going to the next level to get a door that was approved by our HOA. And best of all, the removal of the old door and installation of the new door was done smoothly with no issues. Call Steve's Garage Doors and Services today at 402-480-2840. Power Combo BOGO? Huh? Yes. If you purchase an air conditioner, you receive a furnace completely free. At John Henry's, our professionals want to ensure you are comfortable in your home all year long, no matter what Nebraska has to throw at us. Call today to schedule your free estimate and learn more about the free furnace waiting for you. Give John Henry's a call today. 435-5555. John Henry's plumbing. Heating and air. And electrical. Spring often marks the beginning of severe weather, which can lead to power outages. LES wants you to be prepared before the storm. Restock your emergency kit. Update your info with LES. And if you encounter an outage, report it at LES.com slash report. Are you working in or looking to get into the electrical construction industry. The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402 590 5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, garage doors, and more. Rashawn Jackson here for Bauer Underground, who has been serving local contractors and utility contractors all across the state since 1997. When you see the black and white trucks, you know the baddest dudes in the business have arrived. Bauer is currently looking for equipment operators, laborers, diesel mechanics, and aerial linemen. Join the brotherhood built on hard work, authentic people and pedigree of success. Bauer, a family-friendly company who reminds you, go be red. At Union Bank, people don't have your money. Your money has people. First home people, investment people, people people, people who answer the phone and your chats, dream car people, dream retirement people, driving your dream car in your dream retirement people, small business people, credit card people, and all the other people you need. At Union Bank, our people help you do more than you dreamed possible. So stop in and say hello. We can't wait to see you. Union Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Hello, hello. Believe it or not, old phones are one of the most common pain points in offices today. Many of these phones are beyond repair because parts aren't available to fix outdated devices. Whether it's a traditional phone system or cloud-based VOIP technology, Hamilton Business Phones can help upgrade your connection. We make it easy to sync your office phone with yourself for seamless call handling, no matter where you work. If your current office phone can't do this, you deserve better. Hire your local experts. Hire Hamilton at hamiltonisbusiness.com. Big box stores are tempting for buying equipment for your high schooler in sports or for yourself in your sports leisures. But buying new is awfully expensive. Why not go somewhere with new and and used options. Play It Again Sports is quality, slightly to gently used equipment, and 50% of their inventory is actually new equipment. And it's more than baseball, softball, and golf. They also have equipment for disc golf, fitness, hockey, and more. Plus, they're always buying products. 
bring your gear you're done with, and get trade money on the spot. Play it against sports at 48th and Vine. Empower a child today with the Teammates Mentoring Program. Hope is only a conversation away when you choose to share your talent, time, and heart with a child. Together, you can build a relationship based on strengths and chart a brighter future one week at a time. Find out how you can be a mentor by visiting LincolnTeammates.org. Become what you needed as a kid by joining the Teammates Mentoring Program today. Life is all about balance, so how about a little sweet and a little heat to make your week? At Wings and Rings, we're introducing our all-new hot honey menu for the month of March. Try our one-of-a-kind house-made sauce on the brand-new hot honey chicken sandwich or our hot honey shrimp and slaw. And of course, you can get it on the traditional boneless or smoked wings that have made Wings and Rings your go-to neighborhood spot. But don't wait, hot honey is only here until April 1st. So stop by Wings and Rings at one of our two Lincoln locations today on O Street and on Village Lane. Old School with DP and J. Do you think it's too early to talk about Patrick Mahomes as the greatest of all time? You know, to be honest with you, I think he might be on ahead of the pace. It would definitely on, on pace, maybe ahead of the pace. I think right now everything that he does is going to get over overblown. And I think people <laughs> so quickly forgot the 20-year run of the Patriots. Not five, six years. 20-year run of Tom Brady and the Patriots. Uh, 93 7 the ticket and the ticketfm.com. Now back to the drive with AD, Raf, and Amon Green on 93 7 the ticket and the ticketfm.com. All right, here to wrap up the drive here on 93.7 the ticket. I'm your host, Amon Green, along with Nick and Raf down in Bama. And it was Mike Williams to the Jets. That's right. We're trying to talk, get the team he was at. And um, Kez Watkins just signed with the Steelers. Oh, nice. Wide receiver? Quez Watkins. Yeah. Okay, nice. So, yeah, free agency is still going on, by the way. It's just now it's the bottom of the barrel players, unfortunately. (laughs) Um, But they're still not bad players. You never know. (laughs) You never know. Yeah, you can strike gold. There it is. So. Just like in the draft. We got a draft uh, in a month, a little yeah. bit over a month. April same, 27th weekend. Same it's weekend spring. is spring ball. Yep, where, you where, betcha. Where is the draft? Michigan. Ford Field. Yeah. Uh, okay. Detroit. Yeah. Oh, uh, horrible football right. team. Uh, yeah. Oh, is that right? That's crazy. Oh, uh, is right. I so mean, that's the NFC championship birth. Yeah, it no, be, one, uh, no one likes the Lions. Lambo leap on them right hit, now. Hit or mi- yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hit or miss on weather there. Here in April, because it's Midwest, you don't know what you're going to get up there. Yeah. It's like uh, what's it? What's that? Forrest Gump. You know, life's like a box of chocolate. You never know what's going. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There it is. Perfect. Roll tight. All right, yeah. <laughs> Rafi, Rafi, what you got for us today, man? All right. Well, first I had to let y'all know our two is proudly sponsored by Doors Plus. If your garage door needs maintenance or you need an entirely new garage door, give Cameron Hall and his team a call today at four zero two. 590-5800. Doors Plus is locally owned and handles everything from residential or commercial garage doors, garage door openers, safety tune-ups, or custom design. Visit DoorsPlusLLC.com to learn more. Doors Plus, garage doors, and more. Got it. Bam. All right, everyone. Today's Ralph Skid Take goes out to the American Red Cross. Um, they actually have a blood drive this Thursday, March 28th. Uh, down at Memorial Stadium in the West Stadium. So if you're looking at doing something good, saving somebody's life, helping somebody out, um, getting a chance to be down at at the university, maybe you have a chance to run into, say, a Matt Rule or a Terrence Knighton or somebody like that, or maybe a Heisman Trophy candidate, Dylan Rayola. Um, All you have to do is you can visit huskers.com backslash blood drive for more information i know that they have slots open uh from 10 to 4 so american red cross you are my raps good take and if you have a chance thursday go on down and save somebody's life or help somebody out so that's my raps good take got it good stuff there raffi um here's what i would say so i mean good show today guys as we we have about Oh, a minute and a half left or so. Um, plenty of stuff we didn't even get to talk about, right? A lot. We, we we have a lot to get to tomorrow. Husker women's basketball fell last night mm-hmm. uh, to, to Oregon State on the road, so their season is done. Jazz Shelley played her last game as a Husker along with a couple of other uh, under Amy Williams, but there's an intriguing future 
yeah. with Husker women's basketball, with with a lot of high level recruits headlined, obviously, by uh, Elkhorn North's Britt Prince. There's that. Um, Husker baseball is on a tear right oh, now. Nice. They've won. That. They've won 16 of their last 19 games. Ooh. So Husker what are they baseball, ranked now? Are they, they are just outside the top 25. OK, Husker baseball just outside the top 25 there. But um, so plenty of stuff, including spring ball that starts today to talk about tomorrow. All right, gentlemen, we got 30 seconds left. Any last words, Amon? Hey, man, just uh, uh, continue to be well, be good humans out there. Um, and then stress, deal with your stress. Get some, I say, drink the water. Helps out a little bit. There you go. No, no, no caffeine, uh, caffeinated drinks. All right, Rafi, <laughs> Rafi, 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Be sure to go to Florio's too, because they have amazing yep. food. And second off, be nice to each other. And third off, We'll see you tomorrow. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in 